Where am I? What is this? Is that an IV? IVs are put into people's veins so that fluids can be quickly delivered. The medication is initially in an elevated bag and drips down through the tubing into a catheter in the patient's vein. This works because of Bernoulli's principle. The elevated bags cause a pressure differential that causes fluid to flow down into the vein. However, Brian observed that his grandma's IV was showing some strange behavior. Blood was actually going back into the IV tubing. Hmm. Is this unexpected phenomenon diffusion or flow? To answer this question, we sought to recreate this experimentally. First, we calculate the Bouquet number, which is much greater than 1, which leads us to believe that diffusion is not important. Next, we set up the experimental design. We pump blood at a realistic venous flow rate and slightly elevated pressure through a 3 mm diameter tube, with the blood emptying from a small nozzle into a beaker. We set up an IV bag with a very slow drip, so everything was just like it was in the hospital. The IV catheter was inserted into the simulated vein, and flow began. We observed that the pressure differential between the IV and vein is what governs the backflow. We found that increased pressure in the vein caused backflow, which is consistent with Bernoulli's principle. It is also consistent with the conditions for Brian's grandmother, which included high blood pressure. Here, you can see the evolution of the backflow in the IV from the vein. Next, we simulated a heartbeat by turning on and off the flow pump at an interval consistent with heart rate. We saw the backflow oscillate in accordance with the different pressures. This further asserts the hypothesis that the backflow is caused by flow rather than diffusion. The investigation of fluid phenomena in an IV does not stop with backflow. We observed other incredible and interesting flows such as this flow around a rigid body and the interaction of blood with other fluids. Needless to say, even something as commonplace as an IV has a considerable amount of complex fluid mechanics behind it.